What is your business all about? My name is Mark Robbins and I'm the managing director of a company called Robtronics, which is a subsidiary of the Blue Label Group. Robtronics today is a high-tech service and repair business. We've built and evolved in an industry that has given us the footing to be born fixers and repair champions, as well as built and developed a platform to have an administration business that enables us to manage any given product through our repair business from end to end through our highly sophisticated workshop management programs. We are born fixers and pride ourselves on our customer-centric mindset, making sure we always have the customer top of mind. We have developed our own powerful in-house management systems to manage the repair life cycle of all devices. Our state-of-the-art systems and infrastructure gives us the competitive edge to know and understand where the device is at any given time, as well as have all required information at our fingertips. For me, the customer is always top of mind. Um, we wake up with a customer-centric mindset every day. Uh, understanding how to better ourselves to make sure we always have happy customers and we always able to retain those customers. I think in any business customer retention is always the biggest attribute a company could ever want. We possess an entrepreneurial spirit continuously reinventing the business to be fit for the future supporting longevity and sustainability. So while we have a broad RP of the repair business, we also have a very sales-focused sales mentality where we wake up and hunt for customers every day to bolt onto the business. Um, we look after banks, we look after corporates, we look after networks, we look after consumers and I think our end goal is to make sure that when you do business with Robtronics, it's a seamless experience and an enjoyable experience and a fun experience. We remain highly competitive and continuously hunt for growth and building blocks to cement our future in the service and repair industry. Our management team, Mark Robbins, Managing Director, Ryan Moonsami, Workshop and Operations Manager, and Azias Kaleng, Head Technician, my name is Ryan Munsemi and I'm the Operations Manager at Robtronics. In the last 20 years, technology has really taken a big step where the products have changed from 2D to 3G and now we're sitting with a 5G technology. The devices has also evolved where we're now sitting with high-tech uh, technology where there's a lot of intricate parts that we now use in repairing our devices. So Robtronics has always been a step ahead trying to always be ahead of the game and ensuring that when the game is changing, they are changing as well. What gives me a sense of pride every day when I leave is that we have fulfilled our customer needs and we've went the extra mile to ensure that we have met all their requirements. My name is Osman Kaleng, head technician at Droptronics. Being a head technician means uh, trying to help other tech who cannot solve their own problems trying to find a solution and help them to resolve whatever they have like issues on the devices that we're getting. I've been a technician for five years. Uh, before I used to be a QC and I got the training from Robtronics still and then I became a technician. Being a head technician, you get pressure because sometimes uh, you have four techs on your back to say they need help with all their devices. So you have to go through and try to help them and uh, that's the a bit challenging but uh, every day as I said we keep on learning and uh, solving problems. What success brought your business to where it is today? Staying abreast of technology and meeting consumer demands certainly stands us in good stead. Robtronics has adopted the Blue Label culture and is built out of a sound team of experts to operate our business. We pay attention to details and always make it our business to understand what our customers want. We continuously pave the way by improving on our deliverables and customer expectations. So Dunaworks is a new company that was formed in March this year. Dunaworks is a 51% black owned entity which also sits in the Blue Label Group. And Dunaworks was formed to take over the entire Celsi Repair Centre. Um, which means we look after every Celsi customer from an after-sales perspective, which we're very excited about. 
Additional to that, we were fortunate enough to be blessed with enterprise development funding from CLC, which has given us the ability to invest in our youth and be in a position to start training learnerships on how to repair mobile phones and everything that speaks to the mobile repair industry. We believe we will be measured on our absorption rates once the learners have finished the course. They are in our world and in our environment for one year whereby they will learn every aspect of the business in the business that they would be fit for a retail environment where they are able to conduct themselves in a fashion that they are able to give a customer exactly what he needs and walk out a happy person. My name is Larry, uh, I'm an electrical engineer, life current speciality. Uh, I've known Mark Robbins for over 20 years. We work together in many aspects of the electronics industry from repair to design. Mark approached me for possibility of lecturing or facilitating in a learnership program in electronics. I was excited to, to get on board with this opportunity because uh, education is the future of this country. We are heavily invested in the future as a business and supporting the very much needed upskilling and underprivileged communities with skills. My name is uh, Lorenzo, I'm from Microlec and uh, we are providers of uh, cell phone, smartphone and tablet repairs. Mark Robbins from uh, Dunovos approached us to actually train uh, 10 of their learners and it is a niche market because there's quite a lot of smartphones, everybody's using smartphones nowadays but we don't have qualified technicians to actually fix those devices. We managed to actually come up with something which is a cell phone repair training to put a program together that actually address the industry in order for those learners to be able to fix uh, future phones, smartphones and tablets as well as laptops. From theory to practical, I'm loving it. Being with Robtronics, it's been an awesome journey of my life. Every day it's a, it's a new thing. I learn every, a new, I learn new thing. Like today I was so doing, I, I didn't believe that I could do it. And when I was doing it, I was like, well, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, so, like, so it's exciting. As a woman, I believe that Nowadays, we must be 50-50, so I want to be a greatest woman in the industry with the help, obviously, of my brothers. As we know, we must be equal. So I believe someday I'll have my own, maybe phone, or maybe even become an Einstein. Like one of the Einstein, maybe, who knows. I want to have my own business doing the same thing. I think I'm inspired by Mr. Mark from Dynaworks. What they can take away from it will give them the ability to start their own businesses and employ other people. Empowering our youth to become upskilled and business owners is a big focus and remain proud by giving back what we are doing with group companies. What does your future look like? So I think the future of the repair business is fruitful. Um, we look at some of the policies that are coming about in the mobile repair industry. We look at America where there's a right to repair which gives us the belief that there's runway for repair, there's commercial feasibility to repair and for us we're very embedded and entrenched in the insurance industry where there will always be a feasible case to repair a device as opposed to replace the device which be brings a considerable saving to the insurance company. Our future looks bright with multiple opportunities coming into our fold. We have recently taken over the Celsi Repair Center as well as introduced an enterprise development vertical which has an exponential runway giving us the opportunity to invest in our local education and training policies. My name is Johan Barnard and I represent Cell C at Dana Works at the moment. I was appointed to help uh, Dana Works with uh, establishing and uh, moving the repair service uh, over to Dana Works. Salsi so decided to outsource this function and they then interviewed uh, a number of repair companies, services, service companies, and in the end they decided um, that Dana Works would be the most suitable one and they also have a track record of doing repairs over, over a number of years. So they were found to be the best position to, to provide the service to Celsi. 
The repair function is extremely important because you're always dealing with a slightly unhappy customer. By the time you, you get to engage with that customer, he's already had a problem with his handset or he's unhappy about something. And it is part of our duty then to, to turn that customer into a happy customer. And our two main aims would always be to do it as quickly as possible and to do it at the best quality um, that you can offer the customer. What do you imagine achieving in the future? I love what I do. I come to work every day. I'm inspired. Building a business is always top of mind, making sure that I'm in a position to look after people, to grow people, to invest in people, to understand how to bring all the building blocks that we acquire together to build this everlasting castle that we um, pay attention to every day. We all have hopes and dreams that we believe are achievable in our minds. We have a blank piece of paper to complete the chapter ourselves ensuring we stick to our strategic intentions by building long-lasting healthy relationships, giving our client base unparalleled service. Robtronics currently supports Blue Label Connect and Blue Label Distribution. We apply our know-how and ability to these business units daily from an after-sales perspective. Our administration teams watch over these processes with a fine-tooth comb, making sure we keep our finger on the pulse through our workshop management systems and platform, we are able to understand the pitfalls from a product perspective and give feedback with valuable insight around product performance and selection that these business units offer. Hello, I'm Kim McLean Breitenbach, work for Blue Label Connect. We deal in telecoms, in the telecoms industry. We do customer contracts on a uh, bigger scale than your normal ones. Robtronics assists us with our handset models. Um, when we get uh, repairs, cancellations and all of those, um, it comes through to Robtronics. They deal, especially like in warranties, they do the swap stock model for us, where they would receive, um, assist on the collection of the devices, as well as the sending out of the devices again to the customers. Swap stock is the customer has got a problem with the device, um, it's faulty or there's something wrong with it, we would get the device back from the customer, they would look at it and swap it out with the same device and then send that out to the customer. There's a lot of times where there's extra pressure where we need to get that phone back within 48 hours and they have been assisting us to do so. We've even had where the techs from Robtronics would phone the customers on our behalf because they were able to explain to the customers more in detail what's wrong with the devices. Thanks to Robtronics we are able to provide a quicker turnaround time to our customers to ensure that they get what they need quicker than expected. We are mindful that these assets deliver ongoing revenue and must be sure of limited downtime as well as continued support. Hello, I'm Julien van Royen. I work for Blue Label Distribution. And we currently distribute into the formal informal market. We do integrations. We sell airtime, electricity, data, ticketing. We, our business has been split into two segments, formal and informal. Our formal guys are more structured based, our spas, banking, a um, lot of integrations that happen there, so directly into their ports via our systems. Our informal segment, we go from merchant to merchant, trying to place our device with them. No, no not a sale, we're not selling the device to them. We place it at a rental um, with them. We nurture and if we don't maintain the merchant, we go back and we actually collect um, and refurb the, the device. Robtronics is very important um, in my world. Um, so if we look at our informal market, we place a device, we go back within a certain period of time, we collect the device. When we collect the device, the charge is gone, the box is gone, it needs a SIM, it's dirty, all those kind of things. And this is where we utilize Mark and his team. We bring the device back to him, they do a nice, I call it a spit and polish for me, get it ready for the market again and to redeploy back into the field to the next merchant. We have built sound working relationships with the management teams in these business units and trust that they are able to lean on us for support and service delivery. In the customer service, it's excellent. I can get to Robtronics and anyone in their team at any time of the day, weekends included. Um, if I've got a big drive, if I've got big numbers that need to go out, it's a simple phone call and the team are willing to do the overtime to get, to get the work done. And I can, reach, I can reach my numbers because of the, the inputs marketing's team do for me. We understand how to provide and develop what you imagine achieving in the future. 
Our aim is to build a sustainable business that is able to diversify with ease, creating different revenue opportunities and cementing our existence. For us, I believe the future is bright. We look after multiple group subsidiaries in the group, which I believe have got runway to grow and to develop and to really increase their distribution footprint and look forward to being a part of their growth strategy and aligning with them just to be in a position to be at the top and maintain top position at any given time.